I was recently commissioned by New Age Publishers Llewellyn to do an illustration of the Pagan Wheel of the Year. And I did some research into it and I found it was a, a really interesting and very ancient way of dividing up the year. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that in this video. The ancient pagan and Celtic tradition showed great reverence to the cycles of nature and the earth. And the Wheel of the Year is a large circle. Now, it starts at the top, which is Yule, which is the midwinter festival, down to the bottom, which is the summer solstice and the shortest day of the year. And here we go from the autumn to the spring equinox and the other four pagan festivals, dividing up the year into the eight spokes of the wheel. So the midwinter, commonly known as Yule, has been recognised as a significant turning point in the yearly cycle since the late Stone Age. This is symbolised on the wheel by the holly leaf at the top. We then move round through to the spring equinox, which is symbolised by the egg at the time of fertility and birth and it's during which the light and darkness are again in balance and the light is on the rise as the year moves round towards the summer solstice. It is a time of new beginnings and of life emerging further from the grips of winter. And then we move round to the summer solstice, which is the midsummer and the longest day of the year, but also a turning point when the summer reaches its height and the sun shines longest, but also when the days then start to get shorter. We move on then to the three pagan harvest festivals, which celebrate the gathering of crops. Samhain, which is considered by Wiccans to be one of the four greatest Sabbaths, is this a time to celebrate the lives of those that have passed on and is also used for our modern day Halloween. I found it really interesting to research some of these ancient pagan and Celtic traditions and see how they relate to some of our modern day festivals. I think our ancestors really had the right idea when they based their system of belief very closely around natural events and the cycles of the year. And it's something that we all need to think about more these days and when there's such a threat to nature and the environment and the climate around us.